and I found my spirit. I found what I would consider my religion, and I think we all have our own. It's our belief, and once I found it, I exhaled. And that's when I would I moved forward again and started to do something about what had happened to me and where could I go from here. Mm-hmm. So again, another journey. <laughs> but it's that tenacity that, I... that keeps propelling you that when we look back, it's just interesting how individual our journeys are and how it preps us for that next chapter. And your next chapter went on to start speaking out about what you went through with your illness. And when you got sick, you got sick with heart disease. It was the flu that you got sick with, but genetically you're predisposed to having the flu enter your heart. Is that right? Yeah, that's correct. So it's the genetic disposition and you have to hand it all the right things for it to happen. So it's the flu virus the normal everyday flu virus, not the COVID. So COVID is also like a flu virus. Mm -hmm. The flu virus went into my heart and it had that opportunity because I was working six and seven days a week. I was taking care of a young child. I was wearing myself thin. Mm -hmm. I was enjoying it. So I wasn't paying attention to it. It was a little ball of energy and I got the flu. I was away for a weekend. It was a retreat with a friend, a girlfriend who also worked that hard. And we would do this twice a year. And I arrived at the retreat on Friday and I said, I don't feel well. And I didn't wake up till Sunday. I was delirious Mm. the whole weekend. And of course, everybody was drinking and having a good time. And she'd pop in and go, are you alive? Poke, poke. And I obviously made a grunt and I probably should have been in a hospital. 